Bells are important in many religious ceremonies. In many Christian churches bells are rung, though there are different methods for doing so. Single bells have often been told to mark funerals or significant points in a church service. In fact, it appears this was the reason why all saints had the tower built in the first place. The new funeral liturgy introduced by the first Norman Bishop of Lincoln required bells to be rung at certain points in the burial service. So a tower to allow bell ringing was built around 1080. Bell Captain Frank Jervis explains how he became interested in bell ringing. I joined the choir at all, uh, the Winterton Church and when I was about 14 or 15 my voice broke and uh, so I was asked if I would like to start bell ringing. Ron Schaefer, who was the captain of All Saints Church, eventually he died and I was nominated captain and been captain ever since. For many centuries, church bells were chimed with ropes and levers attached to the headstocks from which the bells were hung. The replacement of levers by wheels began in the 16th century. The bell is fitted to a wheel which swings it through almost a full circle when the rope fixed to the wheel is pulled. Each time the clapper inside the bell strikes the bell, a note rings out. Frank Jervis explains how modern bells with wheels are prepared for ringing. So to start with, the bells are loose. Without that, you can you can chime, you can get hold of the rope and chime. But if you want to ring, you've got to get the bells upside down. You've got to start and you keep pulling and pulling and pulling until you get the bell upside down. But there's more to ringing a bell than simply ringing a bell. Terms such as change ringing and peals are complex techniques. The six bells at Winterton, the bells ring in order one, two, three, four, five, six. A change would be two of the bells or more swapping places. And then two bells would swap over again and that would be a, a change. A peal is 5,040 changes of the bell without repetition of any particular change. All Saints has a modern bell simulator to make bell ringing easier to learn. The simulator allows you to pull the rope and turn the wheel so that it feels like the real thing. The total weight of bells hung in the tower is over 2,250 kilograms. The old wooden bell frame was removed in 1948 by John Taylor Bell Founders of Loughborough. They installed a new frame with cast iron frame sides mounted upon and bolted to a steel girder foundation. <laughs> <laughs> 